Welcome back one and all to the place where we play every Shantae. And, ooh, it's just slipping and sliding and getting in all sorts of trouble right off the bat. Downward Slash takes care of that. First things first, before we get a little frostbite, we're going to want to backtrack. Now that we have Risky's boots, no, not Risky boots, we're going to, we're going to briefly return to Panline Island because there is something here that we should be able to access now. I remember there being a cove with a collapsible floor. So now that we can move at high speeds, we should be able to circumvent that. <laughs> I miss this track. Ah, they're all stellar though. Let's see. Trying to build up some momentum. Easier said than done. So long, Marauders. Here we go. I was hoping for that. This is the spot I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, there was no other way around that. So, what do we have? Aha, this is the sword. We got the enchanted blade. And you know who that belongs to? Was it Brandon or Branson? Some brand. I'm gonna go ahead and check with him. If I can get my speed back. Yeah. Could really use a spin dash for Shantae right about now. <laughs> Gotta hit every wall now. Cause you never know what might be hiding. In the meantime. Ladies and gentlemen, Shantae's best reenactment of rush hour. And it's just that anchor too, so be careful guys. Oh you know what? This is the best way to take care of her. And they have a tendency to drop super monster milk, so. If you're running low, something to keep in mind. Ah, nothing worse than having your run cut short. I love how those squids don't even attack so much as collide into you. <laughs> and at an elderly pace at that, they're sort of like the Eeyores of this game. Just there, taking up space. Don't mind me. Now, just since we already took the time to come back this way, let me make sure I'm not missing anything on the east side. Any more secrets? Probably a ton. Wave 4 is pretty good about tucking things away in unseen places. Or sometimes right in your face. But just a matter of covering it and discovering it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty powerful right around now. Not quite on top of the world, but close. And she's queen of the hill. And the rats. Okay. Thought that might have did something. And just because I can and I'm lazy, steamroll it. Combo. See, that's how it's supposed to go. And moving right along, I believe this is the way that led to the lost catacombs. And I went ahead and checked, it is pronounced catacombs, which I guess makes sense when you look at how it's spelled. You know, like if cats carried combs. Think of it like that. Yeah, we don't want to go back there. Time to skamoose, skedaddle, skabop, and scoot on over to, I guess that was Scuttle Town. That's where Branson is, over by the palace if I'm remembering right. So we got a nice little trek ahead of us, but this will help cut the time down. Don't want to make this an extended trip. Too bad one-ups aren't a thing anymore. 
this would probably lead to one. I miss the good old days, platformers. Bop on enough heads and you hear that little chime. But it's kind of become obsolete in modern design, unfortunately. But it's probably for the best. Could definitely do without all the tutorials. Is that the enchanted blade? Yes, it is. What you gonna do with it? Because I can give it to you. But what you gonna do with it? Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> I kind of feel like her. Oh, go ahead, Sam. Hey guys, we should go get matching purses. No reason they should be just for ladies anymore, am I right? Hey fellas, don't leave, fellas, come back. Yeah, you're on your own there. It's Brad's son. By the power of a skull that is not gray, I gain the advantage. Now then, only trio of others are privy to my deception. The bold enchantress, man with guns, and the hob mage. And now me for, right, four. Together we protect Castle Boneface from the uncouth legions of the Grim Reaper's ghost. Actually, your adventures are much cooler, Shante. And he's an excellent role model. And <laughs> what's outlandish about your outfit? Perfectly normal to me. Nothing peculiar. <laughs> it's all about your guts, folks. <laughs> And remember, tell the truth and be true to yourself. All right. I'm taking mental notes here. Trust me, Branson. Okay, they're working for the Ammo Baron. I don't get it. I knew there was something about them I didn't like. Not the best judgment on those two. So are we gonna have to fight them? Probably not, but that would be interesting. And I think that's all we came here to do. So I guess... This game is very roundabout in its demands. So we have to find the sword to give to him just to get them to go to Scuttletown and probably trigger something involving the Ammo Baron. That's my guess. Alright. <laughs> oh. Even for a Metroidvania, this is a lot of back and forth, back and forth. But since again, this is not your mom and pop's classic platformer 2D side scroller, it's not stage one, stage two, stage three type of progression, I guess it makes enough sense. I had to figure out some way to keep us moving from A to B. And a little bit more money from Scuttle B. Definitely don't need all these monster milks, so he's more than happy to help himself to him. Man has not moved from that spot since we started, just about. But to be fair, it does look pretty lush, pretty cozy, pretty peaceful. Can't say I'd mind the view myself. And I don't think we have any, nope, no squids as of yet. Do need to heal up though. First, though, definitely want to pick up some auto potions. Yep, max out on those. Probably more pirate flare since I'm actually using those now. Would hate to run out in an inopportune time, you know? <laughs> she sounds like she's window shopping. But we're actually spending. And I think we're just about done here. Yeah, so next up, we want to take a visit to the spa. Ha, ah, nothing like a dip in some Epsom salts. I assume that's what she's using. And I have to assume we can do something about Joe because it's odd for somebody that's still lingering after that's happened to them in this game. You know, he has been crushed or dropped or frozen. Well, in a sense, but I'm holding out hope that he's salvageable. I don't know though. Something about a targeting module, that's what's on tap. We'll 
probably get that in the next area. So, I can build up a little bit of a boost. And now, see I was trying to get up top to where those girls were. I don't think I can actually reach that though. So we're gonna shove off. I have to assume I did what I was supposed to with them. You know what, it might be related to the targeting module, so I guess that's what's next. So, we can just skip all of these detours and obstacles and obstructions and nuisances that are trying to be a hindrance. And record time, here we go. Okay, can't go that way. So north it is. Okay. No nasty surprises yet. Snowfall is always a nice touch. And we're getting pretty high up there. And, okay, this is Propeller Town. I was just starting to wonder where we were. And the Elder continues his streak of impeccable timing. I always want to take him up on that offer. And that thing looks straight out of a Mega Man game. Not sure which one. Ah, oh, they're all interchangeable. The good ones, at least. Ba, 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 ba. Now, this isn't too bad. Should be careful what I say out loud, though. I know the game can hear it all. Ooh, that was close. How? This is a really nice arrangement of the track from the first game. Anybody remember that? During daylight in the first area, the first uh, field. You can't see me, but I'm bopping my head along right now. And my shoulders too. Okay. Anyway, back to the game. Oh man, this is just this is so it's so upbeat without being obnoxiously so. And I can't break those. More robots. Thank you, Drop. Ooh! Okay, I wasn't expecting to see those. Those mummified astronauts. So that's one way to take care of Spaceman Spiff. And that was fun. And so is this. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> no time to reflex! <laughs> oh, I love it when this game gets insane like that. This is pretty mild in comparison. Come on guys, don't start holding back on me now. Oh, but something's coming up. Well, we must be pretty high up in the sky. Look at those clouds. Careful not to fall. Probably want to watch out for any tornadoes that may be carrying a car. No, but the winds are calm. All is well. Sunny skies are far away away, but other than that, I've got no complaints, especially no bats. And how am I supposed to get up there? Because this is kind of the end of the line. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to. I got you. So I guess we're going down. And I couldn't save myself. And, okay. Rolo? She's not happy. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm 
True, true. Nah, nobody wants a bad first day. Oh, he's gonna give us the targeting module. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? He's always been there for us, right? I remember. Besides, if it weren't for him, we never would have gotten into that labyrinth in Watertown way back in the day, right? See, guys? See, guys? Like an elephant. And now that we've gotten that taken care of, I think we need to rendezvous back with the folks over at Scuttle. So, here we are. Once again. All right. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, I guess we have to. Here you go. I really don't want to. But for the sake of keeping this thing moving forward. Now what's going to happen? Oh, he needs Joe? Zombies on spiderweb. Sounds like a clue, Scooby-Doo. Yep. Alright, so I'm guessing there's something on spiderweb island that we need to find that's going to help out with Joe to cure his permanent paralysis in the form of petrification. So, guess what's going to be happening in the next video? Until then, have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.